Okay, now we're going to learn how to hook up the same machine with a non-rebreathing system. We will choose a non-rebreathing system for small patients, those that weigh less than 7 kilograms, less than 15 pounds. So the non-rebreathing system of hoses looks like this. This is the non-rebreathing system of hoses. But you can see that it's missing several parts here. So again, let's follow the flow of oxygen from the tank to our patient. We're going to start in the oxygen tank. Oxygen is going to leave the tank, go to the flow meter. When it leaves the flow meter, it's going to go to the vaporizer. When it leaves the vaporizer, it's going to go to the patient. On this machine, there is a port that's labeled fresh gas outlet. Fresh gas outlet. That means that's where oxygen and isofluorine are going to be delivered to the patient. This is where we have to interrupt the flow. What we do is we separate the fresh gas outlet. Just unhook the port. Turn this machine over like this. Just unhook the port. It was like this. We just unscrew it. Where it says fresh gas outlet, that's where we hook up the end of this long clear tube. Hook up the end of the long clear tube to the fresh gas outlet. Now, any isofluorine and oxygen is coming from the machine through the clear tube to the patient. This is where the patient would be, the endotracheal tube. When the patient exhales, the exhaled gases are going to go through this clear tube. And as you can see, there's some parts missing here. So, exhaled gases go through the clear tube. And remember, exhaled gases can go into a rebreathing bag. And if you notice, one port is much smaller than the other port. One port is much smaller than the other port. The rebreathing bag is going to go on the larger port. It's the only one it fits on. It can't go on the smaller one. As you can see, it won't fit there. It goes on the larger port, the rebreathing bag. The smaller port is for the scavenge system. So again, use the same blue hose. And again, its size. This is small. It's going to go on the small port. So exhaled gases are now going to leave. <laughs> exhaled gases are going to go through the rebreathing bag or to the scavenge system, and the end of this hose goes to our F air canister again. F air canister. Just stick it in. F air canister. Put the F air canister back in its little basket. Now this machine is appropriate for a small patient, less than 7 kg, less than 15 pounds, and they are using a non-rebreathing system. The most important part is that you know where the fresh gas is coming from. Because on this machine, it comes from the side here. That's usually attached. But as long as you remember to disconnect this, hook up the clear hose to the fresh gas outlet, then you know the gas, the fresh gas, anesthetic gas and oxygen, is going to be delivered straight to your patient through the clear hose. Exhaled gases are going to go through the clear corrugated tube into the rebreathing bag or into the trash, into the scavenger. That is a non rebreathing system. <coughs> also on this system or you cut it off. Also on this system, we're bypassing the CO two absorber. We're bypassing these unidirectional <coughs> valves. We're bypassing this pop off valve. It's important that you remember the pop off valve on this system is right here. The pop off valve. Pop off valve on this. So we're not using this pop off valve. Okay. okay. We're going to do the same system on the, on the other machine because the setup is slightly, just slightly different.